Hello, hello everyone. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage is now out and you can now play it into your PC. If you don't own a Nintendo Switch, then this is the perfect video tutorial for you because I'm going to teach you where in to get all of these files here so that you'll able to play Fire Emblem Engage and how to install them and run them into your Ryujix emulator. So for those who do not know and are new, uh, Ryujix emulator is an emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games into your PC. As long as you have all these files here installed into your Ujinx emulator. So as you can see here, I have already played Fire Emblem Engage and I have a copy of it and this is that file and I have played 54 minutes of it. So you should install the latest build of Ujinx emulator. And as of recording this video tutorial, 1.1592 1 uh, is the latest public version for Ujinx. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ujinx emulator, okay? So to do that, just open your web browser and just type in Ujinx emulator and hit search. Regions.org is their official website. Click on that and then go to download. If you are using a Mac OS system, your Mac OS should be in Mac OS 11 version so that it will run uh, Regions emulator. And if you are from Linux, you can just download here. And if you're from Windows, just like me, uh, you can download the Windows version here. And I'm just going to skip the download and installation process for the Windows here because it's really easy to do and anyone can do that. And I'm going to assume now that you have already installed the latest build of Regions Emulator. So if this is first installation, then boot up or run your Regions Emulator now. And then you will be met with certain errors saying that you will need to install certain files into your Regions Emulator. So these are those files. So what are these files? Uh, this is the Nintendo Switch key and the Nintendo Switch firmware, and it should be in version 15 in order for it to detect and run Fire Emblem Engage. And your Fire Emblem Engage game should be in XCI file format. So if you're asking me where you can get all of these files, legally speaking, you can only get these files through a modded Nintendo Switch console, which has a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, then you can access your Nintendo Switch system files, such as the keys and the firmware. Once you have access to this, just copy them into your PC. Now, for Fire Emblem Engage, you should own the game, you should buy the game, and you should have the physical copy of that game and digitally back it up into your PC into an XEI file format. But if you don't own an Nintendo Switch, or if you have a Switch but don't know how to mod or to install a custom firmware in it, then I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all of these files. In order to get all of these files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here where it, you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile device and you will be redirected to the download page where and you can get all of these files. So that is approms.com. That is the website. And then go to it and into the middle part of that page, uh, you will be able to get the Fire Emblem Engage XCF file format and go to the bottom part of the page so that you will get the keys and firmware. So be sure to check the entirety of the website so that you can get all of these files. So I'm gonna assume now that you have already downloaded all of these files and that you have a copy of it into your PC. Now the next step is to go to Ryujinx and go to File and hit Open Ryujinx Folder. Now, go to System Folder here and then just open the keys zip file here and then just copy and paste, drag and drop these files into that folder. This folder should be empty because this is your first installation. Then close in that. Now the next step is to install a firmware file into your PC. To do that, uh, go to Regix, go to Tools, go to Install Firmware, install a firmware from XCI or zip file, and then choose on that firmware version, and hit Open. And then it will say, install the firmware, and hit Yes. And it will say again that the version 15.0.1 successfully installed, meaning your Regix emulator now is now fully capable of booting up Nintendo Switch game. You will know that it is successful because uh, the game icons for that games will be shown in this part here, just like mine here. As you can see, the Fire Emblem Engage is now shown. So uh, what's the next step now? The next step now is to optimize your Eugene Simulator so that it will run Fire Emblem Engage game or any other Nintendo Switch game smoothly into your PC. So to do that, just go to Options and go to Settings. And then on this part, just pause the video and copy my settings here. So in the general tab, just follow everything here. And the game directories is where you'll put your Nintendo Switch games. So it will be entirely dependent on you. So the 
uh, Nintendo Switch games should be in XCI file format or NSP file format. That is the only format that Ryujin Selmayer is capable of booting up. So go to the input now. It is better to use a controller in order in playing uh, Nintendo Switch games because it's really hard if you're using keyboard and mouse. To configure this, just go to player one and hit configure. And then just choose on which uh, controller that you're using. So mine is not yet detected. So I'm just gonna close in this. Okay, and then I'll just have to reconnect my controller. Okay, so go to player one and configure again. And then here, my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is now detected. So if you don't have a Pro Controller, you can also use your PlayStation or Xbox controller here in order to, to control your Nintendo Switch games. So hit save. Now go to system. Again, just pause the video and copy my settings. Now go to the graphics tab. This is the most important part, so be sure to copy everything. Graphics backend multi-threading should be on. Graphics backend API should be in Vulkan. The preferred GPU is your uh, dedicated graphics card. Mine is quite dated now. It is an RTX 2070 Super, but you will run into the Switch games with no issues at all. Go to Enhancements, then Enable Shader Cache and Enable Macro HLE. The resolution scale should be in two times resolution. I'm using a 1440p monitor, and with this resolution scale, the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC cannot handle that, then go to the native resolution for the Switch. Anisotropic filtering should be auto, and aspect ratio should be dependent on what your monitor is, but mine, I'll use 16 by 9. And I'll hit apply and save. Now, uh, your Eugen Simulator is now fully optimized to run Fire Emblem Engage. And a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not going to show you guys a gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't want it to be shown in the internet. So if I show you uh, this uh, gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage, then I'm sure that they will just delete or ban my YouTube account or my videos. So I hope you guys understand on that part. But as of this recording, this video trail, I am willing to show you guys a little bit of boot up of Fire Emblem Engage into the title screen. So I'm just gonna blur the screen in booting up the title screen of Fire Emblem Engage so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike into my channel. And again, please do understand that I will not be able to show you a gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage into my PC here. So this is official artwork of Fire Emblem Engage. Again, I'm just going to blur things out here so that Nintendo will not hit me with a copyright strike. And the game runs perfectly well, 30 FPS, no issues at all, or any graphical bugs. So yes, Ryujinx is fully capable of playing this game. Fire Emblem. So now this Engage. is a title screen of Fire Emblem Engage, and it runs, and I'm just gonna stop the emulation now. So if you followed all the steps in this video trail, then you'll be able to play Fire Emblem Engage with no issues at all, and you can also play all the previous Nintendo Switch games that has been released. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Fire Emblem Engage into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer all of them. Please do subscribe to my channel, this will help me out. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and goodbye for now.